whenever you are going to introduce yourself in your class then that sort of time you had thousands of questions in your mind that how to introduce what kind of dress i need to appear what is the manner to talk with my student today's video i'm going to solve almost all your thousand problems in this just one video so stay tuned in this video from starting to end i hope this video will really going to help and solve all your problems if you like the video please subscribe the channel and stay tuned to my channel i'm your friend poonam without wasting the time let's begin today's lecture that how to introduce and what are the tips whenever you are going to introduce yourself in front of your student or in front of your principal or at the time of the assembly following points you need to keep in your mind students come into the classroom wondering who their teacher will be for the year teachers are faced with new students sitting in the desks introducing yourself to those student is a big part of that first day that initial teacher student impression is important in setting the tone for the year first day of the school and want to know what the teacher are going to be like for the year taking the time to introduce yourself is a key to setting up a relationship with your student built on mutual trust so these are the following things which you need to Remember always whenever you are going to introduce yourself in front of your class first thing is your appearance dress professionally and make sure you follow any published dress codes applying to students and staff while you want the student to enjoy the time in your class you want them to respect you dressing in appropriate clothing can also be distracting and disruptive in the classroom Many schools have casual Fridays or spread weeks where dress codes are relaxed. On the first day, putting your best appearance forward can set the tone for the year. Second thing which you need to remember, your name details. Make sure to introduce yourself by telling the class your first and your last name and how they should address you. Do you want them to call Miss or Mr? Should they use your last name? or your first name with that title if you have a long last name that's difficult to pronounce you can say you can call me mrs tomer for example while teachers might not write their name on the chalkboard anymore having your name displayed in the classroom or hallway can also help students to remember the initial weeks of the school third thing which is very helpful to consider that is personal interest and your hobbies telling your class a little more about yourself help them identify you as more than just a teacher students may be surprised you have interest after school explaining some of your hobbies and interests can give a students the chance to interact with you on the first day for example you could say i enjoy riding horses wherever i have free time or i like reading horror movies at home following up an explanation of your own hobbies and interests with the same question of your students can further upon a discussion on the first day often these small personal detail can make you seem your approachable and will open up to the connection with your students for example a student who also likes horse immediately sees something in you as a teacher that they identify them with you a student who responds with their own different hobbies and interests may feel more free to do that after you share your own next thing which you keep in mind explain classroom rules getting started on the first day by also explaining your class rules and what your class can expect of you are a good way to set guidelines for example you could say i'm easy going but i do have some rules that everyone must obey by keep those rules simple and easy to remember if you introduce yourself and the rules together if you are teaching a class of older student you might also include them in writing up classroom rules as well next thing be courageous and always be positive while it may seem like common sense speaking in respectful tone in your introduction is key that initial tone 
as you welcome students in the first impression of you as a teacher and a person continue to remain courageous and positive when speaking to students administration other teachers staff and classroom visitors why being polite to your students is important maintaining the same respectful tone to anyone inside or out of your classroom is also very important it lets the students know your respect other and sets an example for them with their peers and classroom visitors next thing which you should always remember is invite questions and responses if you have time after your basic introduction ask your new student if they had like to know anything more about you after you have answered their questions ask the class what they have learned about you for example ask what do i like to do in my free time by doing that you are retiring your introduction which makes it easier for the students to remember you so if you like the video please subscribe the channel and stay tuned to my channel i'm your friend sunil